and we're back i'd like to thank all you guys that showed just a massive amount of support on the most recent video about joji and i promised you guys that i was going to do a joji tier list so here we are i'm not going to waste any of your guys' time let's get straight into it all right so all the joji tier list i've seen so far have not included his previous work including some uh, other low-key releases that he's had in the past so i made my own tier list and yeah i'll leave it in the description if you guys want to make it and uh use it yourself so without further ado let's start from earliest work to his most recent work all right so for the first album we have is the pink guy self-titled for the most part this album is pretty bad intentionally it's very offensive and poorly produced intentionally uh it's a very comedic album i'll say that however i do think that there's a couple gems on here like the opening track is pretty good as well as uh one of my favorite tracks under joji or pink guy which is a tribute to ronald or ronald's dream whatever you want to call it it's one of his best songs in my opinion so i'll probably put it in d tier it's not entirely bad i guess but if you really want to get into uh joji's early 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 music um give it a listen it's a pretty interesting one i would say pink season is a little bit better than pink eye but not much uh it, again it's basically pink eye but just uh upping the ante on the edginess and upping the ante on just how insane some of the lyrics are. I would say most of these tracks are once you listen to them once you don't really want to listen to them ever again but there are a lot more bangers on this one like She's So Nice I honestly love that song. Uh, STFU is a classic. Uh, Fried Noodles is pretty good too and We Fall Again. There, there's a there's a couple uh, good songs on here that I actually would unironically listen to um, but for the most part the the album is really really long and I probably would not listen to it ever again after my first listen. But uh, it definitely is a lot more interesting than Pink Eye self-titled. I'll put it in the C tier. Next album we have is Chloe Burbank. I'm going to save this one for last because I have the most to talk about with this one. Up next we have In Tongues, which is his first official body of work under Joji. And I would say it's a solid B tier. It's only six tracks and for the most part, most of the tracks are really good. Will He was the song that got me into Joji. And Window is one of my favorite songs from Joji of all time. As well as World Star Money Interlude. And you really can't go wrong. The only song I really don't like on this project is Pills and uh, besides that the album's a or the EP is a pretty good listen again I can't rate it too high because it's just six songs so I'll probably put it at a solid B tier for now Lost Instruments is a three song EP where Joji I believe it was just a bunch of throwaways from in tongues if I'm not mistaken it's uh not a bad listen it's definitely better than uh Pink Season it's more consistent it's just three tracks and uh they're pretty nice instrumentals it's kind of reminiscent of his uh older music pre in tongues but it, it's a uh, it's it's a pretty quick listen and uh it's nice it's nice uh lo-fi music if you want to call it that up next we have his ballads one and i would say this album has the highest highs out of any of his albums it has slow dancing in the dark yeah right can't get over you and it has that beautiful i don't care what anyone says that trippy feature is amazing i love it with that being said i do think that this song has a couple skips on there i'm not a fan of why am i still in la i'm not a huge fan of come through i think there's just a couple tracks on here that kind of bring down the experience for me a little bit it's a great vibe album there's not too much substance in it but uh it's a nice vibe with that being said i do think this is one of his best bodies of work yet and uh i'm hoping we have another album similar to this but just with more substance because it is a ballads one so maybe we might have ballads too we'll see up next we have is nectar and i would honestly say before before listening to it several times I would probably put it below ballads one but now I would put it over ballads one I just think it's more consistent and it's longer at first when I was listening to this album I was a little bit upset that it was not the lo-fi sound that I was so used to but uh really adjusting to the sound of this album it grew on me so heavily to the point where I like every single track on this album and you really think an album with pretty boy is bad Come on i'll probably put it in a very very high a tier i do think it's a really really good listen and i saw a comment on my most recent video talking about how joji makes mainstream music but he does make the most interesting mainstream music and i could not agree more this is pop music done well right here nectar a tier and for smithereens i would probably put it on b tier i don't know if it's better than in tongues because in tongues has like world star money interlude and will he which are still songs i listen to smithereens i think is still a solid listen i, I put it it's pretty much a around the same tiers in tongues it's only nine tracks and it is a little bit similar to nectar in a way and i wish that we had more progression and more substance on this album and it was longer in general because i don't think it was enough music for uh 
a two year wait. You guys already saw my video, or if you haven't, I'll leave it in the I card. This album is, uh, it's still a pretty good listen. I would put it in the B tier. And then lastly, what I have for S tier is Chloe Burbank. And yes, I know this album never officially released and the track list is unconfirmed whether or not uh, which song is a part of which, but I've listened to so many bootlegs of this album that have different track lists and I have enjoyed all of them so much. I would probably say if Chloe Burbank was released, it would be my favorite album of all time. I'm not even joking. Uh, as someone who's not the biggest fan of lo-fi, Joji perfected the lo-fi sound and I always wish that he goes back to this sound someday, but I really don't think he will. His old sound is just so beautiful. And also the mystery of how it was put together and then ultimately scrapped when he got signed to 88 Rising. It's really interesting. I saw a Reddit thread about Chloe Burbank and the creation of it. Uh, I'll probably leave it in the description if you guys want to go see it. It's a really good read. Um, and yeah, I would put Chloe Burbank in the S tier. You Suck Charlie is probably my favorite song of all time. I'm not even joking. It's just so perfect. So this is how I'm feeling with my Joji tier list. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments about which Joji album do you like the most and uh, where you would rank your Joji album specifically. And as always, I love you guys. God bless. I got a story that'll waggle your eyes. I got a burger and a thingy of fries. I think we disguise.